The following came from stories gathered in five counties in northeastern Kentucky from people willing, sometimes even eager, to share their experiences with colonoscopy screenings. The overwhelming message they carried was for the rest of us to follow their example, overcoming whatever our personal obstacles may be, and find the peace of mind in knowing we have taken a giant step towards ensuring better health and a longer life. There's a code here in eastern Kentucky, in the Appalachian foothills. We're very patriarchal. Our family is our identity. Whether we like them or not. We stick up for our family. We take care of our own. We spend our lives trying to live up to our family's reputation. Sometimes we spend our lives trying to live it down. We keep family business private. And private things in the family. Today, we'd like to talk about cancer, specifically colorectal cancer. Now that's one of those things that's private. That's two things. Cancer and colons. Yeah, privates are private. Off limits, something we keep in the family. We don't even talk much about it in the family. Some things we just don't mention at all. It's too personal. It's pretty darn embarrassing. Besides, my granny didn't think that modern medicine was going to help her. For generations, we've taken care of ourselves because there weren't any doctors around here. Our medicines came from roots and plants, flowers, bark, mosses and ferns, herbs gathered and grown by wise women and mountain men. They worked pretty well. We survived. No need to go to the doctor if nothing much is wrong. Oh, it'll never happen to me. You know, it's not real until it comes home, and by then, it's too late. There's a fear, you know. I don't want to know. It'll kill me anyway, and I don't want to know if I've got it. My daddy didn't like doctors much. If something was wrong, well, if it's your time to go. And if you keep that attitude, you're going to be dead a long time before you have to be. Colon cancer is beatable, not just treatable, preventable. You can actually keep from getting colon cancer if you have a regular colonoscopy screening. The Five Co Area Development District is comprised of five counties in the far northeastern segment of Kentucky, bordering both Ohio and West Virginia. Two of the five counties do not have a hospital. Their only access to health care is the local doctor's office. For many, this means a person in the outer counties will have to travel 40 to 60 miles to obtain specialty services such as a gastroenterologist. There's no place to go for that kind of test here. We're 50 miles away from the nearest hospital. But we go that far every weekend for a ball game or concert or shopping. The test would only be once in two years maybe less often. We don't have insurance. We can't afford fancy medical tests. Even with insurance, it doesn't cover everything. Times are hard. How much did our four-wheeler cost? The second one, after you wrecked the first one? Or your HDTV taking up half the wall in there? Medical care is expensive. Think about what your life is worth, if not for you or your family. I've heard about that test. Just getting ready for it is awful. Pills and some nasty stuff to drink, and you get sick. Worst part about that is working up to it. When you're cleaning yourself out, you know, preparing for it, they call it a goodie bag. Our mom gave us castor oil and tonic every spring, whether we needed it or not. Nothing could be worse than that. The prep isn't the most pleasant thing, but it's gotten much better. The prep is awful. It might not always be the most pleasant thing in thinking about it, in the cleansing process, but it is all necessary. Patients need to follow the instructions for the cleansing process because without a good cleansing, then they might miss something. An exam hurts. The biggest thing I hear from everyone is that it hurts. It's like an urban legend. They don't numb you, they just go in there and cut these polyps out and send you home. And that's not true. They don't put you deep under anesthesia, but you don't feel it. You don't know what's going on. 
It seems like you know more than go to sleep, and you wake up, and you're fine. I love that new sleep they've got. It's just wonderful. The first one I had, I was totally sick. Sick, sick, sick from the anesthesia. So I would come home and sleep for three or four hours. Now we go out and eat after the test. Just as soon as I raise up, I'm ready to go eat. It's not that bad. In the grand scheme of things that you have to go through in life, it's not that bad. I have a really good friend who has colon cancer. She's going through a lot right now. I think compared to that, going through chemo and radiation and surgery and all those things, having someone put a tube up your bottom is not that big of a deal. It doesn't hurt. Get over it. Most people don't feel anything during the test. It might be a little uncomfortable for some, but if it saves your life, if it allows you to be healthy and active and be with your family, what's a little discomfort next to that? It's embarrassing. I don't want anybody, especially a stranger, looking at my private parts. Cute as you are, I don't think the doctor cares. I hate doctors. I hate going to them, all that poking and prodding. I'd rather figure it out myself than go to a doctor. I go to a doctor when I think I'm going to die. It's degrading. It's embarrassing. People are pretty private, you know? I didn't want anybody else to know about it. I didn't want anybody to know I had it because it is embarrassing because it's your colon. You know, that's just something you don't talk about. I especially don't want someone I know examining me. Honestly, the doctor isn't interested in looking at your private parts. He's seen way more than you can imagine. He's doing a medical procedure to try to save your life. I go to the doctor when I need to. My doctor's never mentioned colon cancer or colonoscopy. When he tells me I need one, I'll have one. At least I'll think about having one. He probably thinks you're smart enough to ask about something that important. Remember what you said before about taking care of ourselves? Maybe part of that is bringing up things like this to our doctors. I don't need one. I don't have any health problems. When a doctor tells me I need one, and that's when he will give it. In this day and age, most doctors will address your presenting problem. Many do not bring up preventive health care. If you are age 50 or older, or a younger person at high risk for colon cancer in your family, it is important that you bring the subject up to your doctor. Only you can advocate for your personal health. Well, my doctor didn't insist. Matter of fact, he didn't even recommend that I have a colonoscopy. He only asked me, I'd have gone. I was afraid and I made every excuse to my wife to not get it because I had no symptoms. I told her when the doctor said I have to get one, I will. And he never suggested it. Now I have cancer. I never dreamed it would happen to me. Some of our doctors see over a hundred patients a day. There's not enough of each of the medical professionals to go around. It's important that each of us be responsible for our own care. Well, there's just that whole ick factor about where that big long scope is going to go and you think, they're going to put that where? No one's going to do that to me. They put you to sleep. You don't feel anything. I know it. Nobody's going to stick something up inside me. Uh, don't let pride get in the way of saving your life. Hey, pride is important. Pride is everything. No matter what happens, live right, keep your nose clean, and you'll still have your pride, even if you've got nothing else. Taking care of yourself is a reason to be proud. Maybe the best reason. Be proud of yourself for overcoming your fear. How better could you take care of your family than by doing everything you can to stay around to be with them? So just do it. Like a lot of things in life, just do it. Do it for yourself. Do it for your family. Do it so there'll be someone around to feed your dog. Just, Just do, do it. it. Screening saves lives. Screening means looking for signs of disease before symptoms appear. Colorectal cancer screenings are important because usually there are no symptoms at first. A colonoscopy can find cancer early, 
when it is easiest to treat. It also can find a small growth called a polyp and other growths that are not normal. Colorectal cancer often begins as a polyp. Polyps do not have symptoms. Polyps are not cancer, but they can turn into cancer over time. Colon cancer is preventable if you have a regular colon cancer screening and the polyps are removed before they turn into cancer. If no polyps were found, you don't have to have another colonoscopy screening for 10 years. I think I'm just afraid to have one. A lot of fear about what might be, not just how the test might be, fear of what they might find. I don't want to know. It will kill me anyway. I don't want to know if I've got it. I didn't want to take the test either because I was afraid I was going to have something wrong with me and I assumed not know it. But I went ahead and had the test. The doctor told me everything was okay and I just had one polyp. So I'm thinking, all of that scared for nothing? And now I'm thinking, it wasn't that bad. I figured, well, if it was cancer, at least I know it now. I can take care of the problem rather than waiting until it's too late. So I don't feel bad that I have it done now. I'm very pleased with my employer and this other organization who encouraged me to have these tests. Had I not had the first test, the two polyps that they removed might have kept growing and possibly caused me to have colon cancer. So I'm very fortunate and blessed to have those tests done. We hear a lot of stories about people who have died from colon cancer. We do not hear enough stories of people who are alive because they had their colon cancer screening. For example, at our local hospitals in the Five Coast Service region of Northeastern Kentucky, Southwestern Ohio, and Western West Virginia, a total of 10,438 people had a colonoscopy in the 2010 calendar year. Of these, 4,221 people had polyps removed, thus preventing colorectal cancer from occurring in their bodies or catching cancer so it could be treated. That means that 6,217 people have peace of mind because they had their colon cancer screening and no polyps were found. Perfect. How can I reduce my chance of getting colorectal cancer? What, what can, can we, we do? do? Being willing to learn about it and talk about it is the first step. Then, talk with your doctor about which screening test is right for you and how often to be screened. Eat a healthy diet, avoid high fat foods, limit red meat and processed meat, and eat plenty of fruits and vegetables. Exercise for 30 to 45 minutes at least five days a week. Are there other risk factors? Your chance of getting the disease increases with age, or if you have a close relative who has colorectal polyps or colorectal cancer or if you have an inflammatory bowel disease such as Crohn's disease. I've had my second round with it and both times everything is checked out fine. So it just gives you that warm fuzzy feeling to know that everything's all right. For me it has been a sense of relief each time. I just turned 56 so I'm getting to the age where I'm getting into the risk pool. So the last time I had it I recall coming out and thinking, oh great I'm fine. I don't have to worry for another five years. I think the key is awareness, because even though I have it in my family, and I've had the colonoscopy and things like that, I become absent-minded about it when I don't think about it. I'm not staying on certain medications, because you do, you forget that there's something going on inside of you, and you just tend to take things for granted. So I think just being able to talk about it and saying, oh, that's something I need to do, it puts some value on it, and I think that is the most important part. I just think that people don't realize that if... Well, I guess if you ain't sick, if you ain't tore up, don't fix it. If there isn't anything wrong, you don't want to do it. But really, that's when you want to go with the colonoscopy. You want to have it before you have a problem. By taking colonoscopies regular and finding nothing, it kind of took the worry off colon cancer. It has given me life because without it, the end of the road is colon cancer and the grave. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. 
and I don't walk around and worry about it anymore. Let's put it this way. It gives me some peace of mind. I can't stress high enough that this is as important as a diabetic checking his blood every day. That's how I look at it. It saved my life and I have peace of mind. I don't worry about that at all. Remember, colon cancer is beatable. Not just treatable, preventable. You can actually keep from getting colon cancer if you have a regular colonoscopy screening. I'm 36 years old and I'm on the watch list. Yeah, he said, we'll just keep an eye on it for now. I've got to take better care of myself. It saved my life. It saved my life. It, it saved my life. It, it saved, saved my, my life. life. My brother, who died from his colon cancer, he saved my life by simply urging me to have a colonoscopy. I told him it has given my life back to me. This procedure should be called the gift of life. Give yourself the gift of life. Do it. Just do it. Forget the embarrassment. Overcome the fear. Just do it. Just, Just do it, man. Give yourself the gift. The, the gift, gift of, of life. life. For more information, please visit the website shown now on your screen. I'm gonna change my way of living. Got too much to live for. Less smoking and drink. Sure need to exercise more. Every day I'm thankful, I know I'm lucky, and Beverly Hills is the to be there. Gonna change my way of living, I've got too much to live for. I'm gonna turn a new leaf, make better use of my time. I've wired away a pretty fair share of mine. Mama told me back when I was young The words she spoke I always remember You need to change your way of living You've got too much to live for I'm gonna change my way of living I've got too much to live for 